pulling these aluminum wheels off all four and uh, put them on my trailer it's a wrecked truck hey you want to tell them what we're doing all right never mind he doesn't so obviously I got these wheels from our friends down the shop or down the street from Russo um, these these had weights on them so uh, I grab this take this off all the glue I'm just gonna clean them so clean them off a little bit and they should be good to go then at some point we'll get them polished out i'm not good at polishing so i'm not gonna do it but somebody will so now that that's all clean Got all the surface rust here. I'm just gonna sand it down and try to polish it a little bit, probably just by hand because I'm gonna have the screw covers here. So you, you'll barely see any of this anyway, if whatever is scratched up until we get polished, like I said, the proper way. Got some valve stems. You're gonna replace these. We don't need to, but we're going to because we're ready here. So these two wheels, that one over there, and then the one in the back. Pretty self-explanatory. Obviously it was corroded, so. Clean it up a little bit. From both sides. We wanna try not to scratch the wheel that much. Okay, that's it. Just to get the corrosion out of the way, out of the hole. Take the valve stem. These are not the really good ones. These are uh, another brand, but they last about six months or so. Unless you take care of them, they'll last longer. I mean, if everything goes good. But for the most part, these are not the best valve stems you can get. They have better ones. This is all we had. So push it through. Depending on which way you want it to fucking face. So mine, I'll probably put like this. Should not. I'll put it like this. So there's a specific way this goes in. I'll show you. So the pointy part of your nut goes down. So that's actually important. All right. So all the valve stems are done. Now I'm going to go grab the tires. Put some tires on. We got eight of these Toyos. Um, I don't know what the brand is of Toyo. Something. 295, 25, 22 fives. So, got those and shocks, and then I'll share with you guys the total of what I paid for the tires, the shocks, and everything to be done. And I bought these rims. So. Show you guys the total when we're all done here, plus the alignment.
coming. without dying. Okay. This is why I'm a truck driver. So now we're going to take the stems out. Pretty self explanatory. The tire airs up faster with the stem out. Just hope we don't need to cheat anymore or at all. his own case and he was doing one of those wheels that has like the rear thing you know that comes out and he blew it through his cage that he made he hit him in front of the grid or the shed ever since then he only uses the original shit like this so before you guys give me crap i know i was just trolling but always cage the wheel so if this thing blows it's gonna take your chest out so let's uh cage it and uh, we'll be yeah. all right should we get here never be too safe well three or four I like the tread pattern all right, so while we were at home and sleeping, we had the uh, mechanic take the trailer in and he did all the work. So, it's the new tires. Um, they couldn't get a hold of me. We have another set of uh, aluminum wheels. So they couldn't get a hold of me because I was passed out. They was gonna put all aluminum wheels, but not a big deal. I'll do it on the next time. So, one thing you gotta keep in mind, guys, if your trailer comes with steel wheels, uh, there's a chance that your studs are not gonna be long enough for for, uh, for two sets of aluminum wheels. So you would have to actually change your studs to the longer ones, they're like 33 mil versus like a 23. So this one originally had all aluminum wheels at some point. So the studs are long enough to have two sets of uh, aluminum alcohol wheels. So 
if you don't have the uh, long studs, then you can run one aluminum and one steel wheel because this hub right here where it mounts is actually thicker on these than the aluminum wheels, or I mean, than the steel wheels because the steel wheels obviously are heavy duty versus these that just fold real easy. So um, depending on the stud is uh, how you'll know if you can fit two sets. So that's in and then I gotta get rid of this mud flap. We got greased up, we got the new shocks, all four corners of course. If you're gonna change one and you have the funds, do all of them. He checked the axles, the S-cams, brake chambers, the brakes. You can tell the brakes are still pretty much new. Um, I did those last year sometime, but like I said, I haven't really used the trailer. And then the bags are still good. Nothing crazy going on with them, but um, obviously if I ever do have a leak in one, which they're coming, they're coming to the end of their life here soon. But um, when I replace one, I'm going to replace all four corners and just get it out of the way. But uh, yeah, so trailer's done. Now we got another project. You guys thought it was over? You really thought it was over? Hell no. We got a lot to do. So uh, this unit... Well, that unit too but we're doing that next so these you can see how i'm missing the grills um i got two grills to install i'm gonna pull them off of one of the other trailers we have and then i'll just replace that one when they come in so now the first things first I'm gonna shut this guy off um All right, now we're good. So. looks about six months newer now than it did before just something little you know change things up so I have some lights that are gonna go up there and then they're gonna shine down and when those butt flaps are moving they're gonna give off like a red uh, like a red glow like a, it almost looked like a I don't know how to explain it like a uh, like a flash type of thing, you know, because the mud flaps are gonna be moving, so it's gonna be hitting the light, not hitting the light. So it should look cool. Honestly, that didn't take that long. It actually made a big difference. Definitely compared to what it was, looks more normal now. Tomorrow, we're uh, pulling off all these lights. On and on and on. Um, maybe I'll put in the same vlog, I don't know. But so far, my mind's made up on 12 here, 12 there, about nine up there. Same, uh, same with the front. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove these. I, I had a bunch of these on here, actually. There was one here, then one here. What was it else? So every like, every like 12 inches or, no, about two feet, there was a light, so. These have been here for about three, four years. I'm gonna pull all these off. And then I'll uh, put the new ones on. Get some glow going. <sighs> so, slowly, surely, but plan with this trailer. Um, make it look pretty and most likely rent it out. That's my plan is either rent it out or put it on the Volvo and see, uh, we can make some money on it you know and usually people need a trailer so that'll work out but um 
Uh, I'm looking for rear doors and uh, side side fairings. So there's some fairings over there. Maybe we can take off that trailer, but yeah. So just got the maintenance done on the trailer. Just refreshed it. Put the new mud flaps on, new tires, new rims. The brakes are damn near 90%. So the trailer's pretty much ready. And it looks decent. So just need the lights. And I'm gonna paint this whole bar in the back. So I think I'm gonna do. Otherwise, we're good to go.